So hi, my name is Ed Drew. I'm a Staff Sergeant in the uh, California Air National Guard. The squadron's 129th Rescue Squadron, and I'm an aerial gunner. I've always been a photographer, I've always taken photos, always been interested in art. And uh, I, I knew that there wasn't ever a fine art project done in, in a deployed location. This medium in particular, the reason I chose it was specifically for the process and for the, the, the kind of image it portrayed. This, this timeless, uh, very humanistic uh, photo is what you see and then the human interaction between me and the individual. I was essentially building a photo from scratch. It was never anything that, um, you know, I, I would take it into a processing lab and, and, you know, a couple of days later get it. I was, I was doing it right there. Afghanistan had a million challenges. Uh, the first challenge was I'm in combat, and and you know I'm having to do I'm having to sit on alert, and I'm having to, to fly it on missions. So there's never a moment where I could say, okay, well I, I could dedicate this time to to taking photos, and everything's going to go smoothly. And indeed, I was called on missions uh, several times while I was making a photo. Over there, it was like a mindset switch. It was like going from an artist to tactical and then back to artists. I guess the, the real push for, for this project, what, what really, it was initially about the guys who I worked with, but then it became something more in January. Um, in January, my second son was born, and uh, it was on the, uh, on the eve of, of my deployment. So now I have this, this, this alternate kind of, okay, well, now I'm a new father, and this little boy doesn't know who I am. If I go to war and I don't come home, who, how is he gonna know me? Who are the people I were with? So then the photos became more about making a, a, a record for my uh, new son. This is who his father was. like a really good analogy for life. You accept what you have and you only have one shot to do it and, and if you mess up well you keep on going and you have to accept what you've done and, and that's it. I think that's what hopefully uh, uh, these plates would kind of show my son is that, that yeah these are beautiful plates because life is beautiful but you know sometimes you just you know, there's like a little spot over here, or this, I, the developer burned it a little bit too much over there. But it's still a beautiful image. Accept it. 